Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to make ponchos for your Lego minifigures. So I'll be showing you how to make two different types of ponchos. One type, such as this one here, which has a flat, curved bottom. And then the other type, such as this one here, which has a pointed, more jagged bottom. So, these are very simple to make, and the materials you will need are some scissors, some markers, felt tip markers, um, <coughs> uh, depending on what you're doing, if you're doing something camouflage, or with like a thing around the edge, more detailed, then you're going to want some thinner markers, but if you're coloring it in one color, you're going to want a thicker marker, such as this one, right here, and it just makes it easier for the more detailed things and the thinner markers are easier for the thinner things. Then, finally, what you're going to need is this printout, which has the two different types of ponchos. So here, you can see it's this whole large piece of paper which has tons of these ponchos, so you should probably only need to print one and then you can make a lot of them. I don't know why you need more than this many. And uh, this printout can be found in the description below where you can print it out, which makes this process very easy. It is supposed to be a square, but we cut out a few already here and we didn't want to print a whole other one. So if you uh, happen to have some ponchos already and you don't have a printer, then you can make these ponchos just by tracing them uh, onto a piece of paper, which is pretty much what we did to create this printout. We traced some ponchos onto a piece of paper. Well, we made our own because we don't have any ponchos, but that is the easiest way to do it. So here we have the three square kinds of pauldrons which we built. It's Anakin, Farm Boy Luke, and Plo. So for Anakin and Plo, we gave them uh, plain colored ponchos, which we thought looked kind of cool. And also, he's Poncho Plo, so that's kind of funny. And um, those just look really good. And then the square poncho for um, Farm Boy Luke is really great, because there is a set which comes with a Farm Boy Luke with a poncho, as you can see. <laughs> which is the Luke's Land Speeder from 2020, but maybe you happen to have a Farm Boy Luke from one of the other seven sets he comes in, and you don't have that specific Farm Boy Luke with the poncho, you can just make your own, which looks pretty cool. So those are the three examples for the square poncho. And then, over here, we have the ragged, jagged ponchos, and there's Jin Erso, Captain Rex from Rebels, and Ahsoka. So, uh, Jin Erso does come with one of these ponchos, but we lost it a long time ago, so um, it looks quite good. We colored it in all plain gray, um, and Ahsoka's we also colored in all plain gray, and this Ahsoka minifigure is great for the Mandalorian Season 2, because she has like a poncho looking thing when she fights, and it looks a lot like her in that way. And so the Captain Rex, uh, this is supposed to be like for some guy on Endor maybe. And Captain Rex, he was on Endor, which is really cool. And so we made him this camouflage poncho, because we don't have any other people that might have been on Endor. So we just thought that was a great addition. So now we will be going through how to build these ponchos. So we can build, um, we'll be building two ponchos at the same time, one of each kind. And the first step to getting these ponchos is what you're going to want to do is cut out one of each kind by just going roughly around it. So cut, 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 chop, chop, chop. There's one. And then the other kind, chop, chop, chop. And there's two. So now we have our two ponchos cut out from our base. Uh, one jagged one and one more curved one. So now we're just going to carefully cut along the edge. See right along here and just go all the way around so that we can get our ponchos and have a nice look for them. Um, we just want to carefully go around and with this uh, uh, more square poncho you want to do nice curves because it looks a bit better. So there's the around of that one. And get rid of that paper and then this one See, you just go around and carefully follow our design. Okay, so now that we've gotten both of our ponchos cut out around the outside, as you can see here, we're going to want to cut out these squares in the middle, which goes around the neck hole. So, a very simple way to do this is you just do a light fold in the middle, so you don't fold it all the way, you just, like, lightly fold it. And then, 
you're going to want to just do a snip right there, which opens up the hole. See a snip right across. And then what you do is you just go all the way around and cut out the hole right along the lines. It's okay if you're bit off, but that makes it look quite good. And you're going to want to do this for uh, either one of your ponchos. And it is very easy and works well. Now that we've got these holes cut out in the middle, the, you can see these tiny little lines on top, these faint lines right there and there. So you're going to want to fold along the lines for both of them. So you just fold the lines because this is where it'll fold over and it makes it easier to put it on your figure. So fold on both sides and we can do that um, to fit it on the figure. And after this, what we're going to want to do is color them in. So we'll be coloring ours too as plain colors. I'll color one of them gray and one brown. Um, so if you want to color in plain colors, as I mentioned before, you're going to want a thick marker, such as this one. This is our gray marker, so I'll be coloring this one gray and a thick marker. And then if you want to color them like this camouflage, or if you want to do brown with the thing around it, you want to use a thinner marker, such as this marker, as you can see it's thinner, and that works better for that. So, now we're going to color in this one, and what you want to be extra careful of when you're coloring them in is how um, the strokes are. And when you color them in, you're going to want to color on top of a piece of paper, so that when you go off you don't make marks on whatever you're coloring on top of, because you don't want to color on top of things. So you just want to do strokes across carefully all the way down until you've got it covered. So now that you've got one side completely colored, you're going to want to flip it over and do the other side because um, this can flip up and stuff and when you flip it over to see the other side, you don't want it to just be white. And also for this camouflage one, we didn't want to do camouflage on the other side so we just colored it gray. But that is a simple way to do it so you just do the exact same thing on the other side. So now that we've gotten this one colored, we're going to want to color the other one. You pretty much color them the exact same way if you're coloring in the whole thing. It's just a different shape which doesn't really matter so much. So now we're coloring this one the exact same way we did this one. So now we have colored in the other one. So we've got them both colored on both sides. So you color both sides. And then see where we folded them before? You're just going to want to fold them again because you want them to be folded in to the maximum capacity so that they stay in, like how they are there. And so folded, you want them folded really good, nice and good. And then we're going to put them on our figures. So uh, I suppose we'll put this orange one on our Tuscan Raider here. So pull off his head and you just stick it on and put the head hole through that hole. And then you stick the Tuscan Raider's head back on. And then you can push up his hands. And it'll fold it a bit. And you just need to carefully make sure it doesn't fold it too much. And then, now he has gotten a poncho. Okay. So, now that we've got him, we'll put him down. And then we'll start the next person. And we'll put this one on Aaliyah Secura here. So, let's try that. Pull off her head and stick this on. So there and there and here. So yeah, that is how to make ponchos for your Lego minifigures. So these are various different ponchos you can make for your Lego minifigures and many more. There are unlimited possibilities. So thank you for watching this video, and we hope to see you next time.